hello friends welcome back so let's continue our work with the uh, numbers you can see here we have uh, you know, different uh, rows but all the numbers are same one one and one so i have to work on it's very easy you can just see here we you know in our order.js page and i have the function add me row and here i'm appending my data our row so here i can uh, do that job where create a new variable n equals to zero and one one more important thing is here you can see in our process page and it, here that's the one present there so instead of writing it id i told you we can have uh, more than one id with the same name so i'm writing here class number and this is one save it and uh, in our order.js file dollar so name of the class number dot if th, uh, jquery function h to loop all the classes with this of same name function this dot and it's an html attribute so html and i can write here o oh, plus plus n so that's a pre-increment operator save it refresh and you can see we have one now we have two three four five six seven so it's working and one more thing whenever i choose a product here is 600 and here is a gap it's because of td uh, product name we have given that is hidden but because of td tag there is a little space taken by td tag you can see in process.php page here is our td tag product name and it is hidden hidden so i can write here instead of td write here span tag it will not take space save refresh now you can see everything is looks good now the uh, whenever we choose a product and you can see we have total quantity and a one anyone can press anything for example uh, someone can, can press numbers so that's not a right thing right so we have to check this also and we have to do calculation and here you can see this is the total quantity no one going to touch this but uh, qty this is a class qty everything depends upon this class this input in our order.js file now right here dollar and hash invoice item dot delegate and the i'm working on quantity class so qty and event will be key up right this is a perfect and right event for this quantity and run a function So whenever someone press uh, a button uh, over the quantity input so I will run this function for example now uh, let's take a variable and uh, it will be quantity qty equals to dollar and uh, this right and variable tr and uh, dollar this dot parent dot parent so now i have a row that's a row and uh, so let's alert uh, alert tr dot find dot uh, t q t y dot value Save this refresh and you can see whenever I select a product first of CS6 and the quantity is 5000 and I'm going to change or going to key press so no nothing happen refresh it it's not working
Okay, I have to refresh it. So here you can see whenever I choose a product for of CS6 and I press a button you can see the alert option it's a 5000 so it's a total quantity and for every row I can get that option for example here office 360 and I'm going to press a key 4 so it's, it will give me a total price total quantity available right and uh, user can also press uh, some uh, alphabet so that, that is not correct so we have to care about that thing for example if you press D or anything you can press so here I'm going to write uh, first remove this alert and uh, if qty dot value so I actually I need a function that's uh, is an a n not a number and right here qty dot value so if it is a number if it is not a number then show an alert message please enter a valid quantity right and else do something else refresh and in case of alpha numbers so no problem but in case of alphabet you can see i have a message please enter a valid quantity so i cannot enter anything like that you can see we have an alert message it's not a number and in that case i can write here qty dot well equals to either zero or one whatever you feel perfect fine it's perfect now in else part I will do some multiplication operation if our qty dot value is greater than or it is less than sorry if it is greater than the given quantity tr dot find and write a name of the class dot t qty so it's t qty and dot value so I'm checking here my given value quantity and uh, the available quantity in our database. So if it is uh, my quantity, my quantity is greater then it will show an alert message. Sorry, this much of quantity is not available choose a product and so total quantity is thousand right now I have one zero 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 it's thousand right place one more zero and you can see sorry this much of quantity is not available and let's try something else so the quantity is one thousand right and I'm going to press uh, 4004 so you can see the message before uh, so this is not the true thing sorry this much of quantity is not available it's the issue in jQuery uh, we can solve it by doing something like uh, if I will write here what I can say here let's give a variable and uh, okay I can directly say here 
q divided dot value minus zero and here also minus zero save this refresh and now press uh, 6 600 6 000. sorry this much of quantity is not available so this is a correct way of writing uh, numbers always use uh, minus 0 or multiplication of 1 because sometimes it understand it's like a string instead of numbers and uh, qty dot well it's one if it is not the case so i have a amount class tr dot find dot amt amount dot html and here i can write quantity dot value is multiplied with uh, the total uh, the okay we have quantity and price right tr dot find and price dot value refresh 360 and choose a quantity 5 so you can see the result is here 10,000 quantity is 5 and the price is 2000 so 5 is multiplied with 2000 and the result is 10,000 for example 6 so you can see 12,000 7 14,000 1 it's 2000 and nothing it's 0 0 it's 0 and 1 it is 2000 add six now another product iphone eight two choose product and uh, smart watch <laughs> six so it is working fine remove it now now let's work on this uh, input subtotal and gst for this i'm going to create a function 